Uh, good morning, y'all. It's about 7.15. Got a time lapse going from the sunrise this morning. It's been going on since about 5.30. Got up and had that going. And then I came back here and went to sleep for another hour or two. Taking full advantage of that in-room coffee maker right now. Let's, uh... Get a little bit of liquid sunshine, if you know what I mean. All right, just got back from going and meeting up with Patrick and Becca from PMB Wide World of Ports. Got a iced pistachio latte here from Sturbis. Um They have been on the breakaway before, so they're going to be a wealth of knowledge for me as I try and fumble my way blindly through Norwegian as a new cruiser to Norwegian. Um, the, the sun is starting to come out, but then everything points to it's going to be a super rainy day. So we decided that we are going to call an Uber or a taxi uh, in about a half hour and go ahead and head to the port. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start uh, packing everything up. Thankfully, we, there wasn't much to unpack since we got in a hair past a freckle ago, like eight hours ago, nine hours ago. So yeah, good morning so far. It's cruise day, y'all. Cheers. All right, we're moving in a herd. Uh, we saw a bunch of other people. We're all wearing matching shirts. I say we are. Not me, because mine didn't come in yet. Uh, it's still in printing, so I'll, I'll get mine afterward. But uh, everybody was in the lobby and we're all wearing the cruise shirts and we're all looking at each other like, are you gonna walk, are you gonna walk? It's raining, but it stopped raining. So do you, do you wanna walk, you wanna leg it? So there's just a herd of us moving towards the cruise ship. So uh, breakaway, you, uh, you better be ready for us. All right, we made it here to the port of New Orleans. Uh, the breakaway is right here. I mean, literally, it's right there. Boom, big white wall. That's a steel wall, the hull of a ship. Uh, we are dropping our luggage off here. We walked, um, not a lot of rain. We're a little wet, but not nothing too crazy. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and head up and see what the check-in process is like. Um, we still can't check in for a little bit, but uh, we're gonna check it out and see what we can see. I don't know if you can hear me because it is super loud in this corner, but like we're in the corner of this room and we have tons of creators here. Huddle Adventures, How We Cruise, PMB's Wide World. We got, I don't know what Josh is doing. We got Cruise with Josh here. Uh, I mean, we just have tons and tons of people. We met Para DJ over there. Um, it is. It's a party over here in this corner. Like literally, you see all these, all these clubs are just sitting here, and then this is the party corner. I mean, you just how do you how do you not? We got cameras, cell phones. I mean, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, after all this time, we're finally about to board the Norwegian Breakaway. Join us as we climb the gangway ever closer. Rob is our announcer to, for this. <laughs> ever closer to this 
wonderful vacation aboard the Norwegian breakaway. Oh my god, I'm getting wet. Uh, I really do appreciate these uh, tents though, that's pretty nice. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? Wonderful, how are you? Very good. Oh, we will. Thank you, appreciate it. We did it, we got on. We're, we're on board. The Norwegian breakaway. Oh, wow. Well, we made it here to Oshihans. Um, we are sitting in the corner because this is the only seat that was available aside from the bar stools uh, up against the glass. The in-person muster is back. Wah, wah. Unfortunately. Uh, but that is going to be happening like 3, 3.30. And they said the rooms will probably be ready about 1.30 uh, or 2. So we're just chilling. We got right on the ship. Uh, we didn't have to wait or have to do much to do about anything. It was probably the one of the easiest um, embarkations that I think I've ever done. True. Wow. So which one is this? Saver. We're going to Saver instead. So we are in the main dining room. So I'm going to go ahead and here is the menu. I'm going to be quiet because we are in the main dining room. And you can pause the menu if you need to see anything. All right. Can I do the um, wedge salad? And then I'll do... Boy, that all sounds so good. Um, the cheese steak and do the uh, cream caramel. Thank you. All right. I'm I'm trying so hard not to be like give me one of everything because that's my mo and that's why I yeah, we am 300 pounds. Have very little self-control on yeah. cruises. So here in the main dining room for lunch, um, salad was pretty good, which was a little bit more dressing. But uh, this is something to write home about. I hate Philly cheesesteaks with like really gaudy, thick, heavy bread. This is very light and like airy and fluffy and it's super warm and crunchy, but not hard. It's not like hard Cuban bread. It's got a gorgeous crunch to it. Uh, this is a delicious Philly cheesesteak. All right, so dinner, breakfast, lunch, whatever it was, was delicious uh, Norwegian food. So far, did not disappoint. But here we are on the aft of the ship at the Spice H2O bar. Uh, they got some jacuzzis. They got a big screen TV here, little waterfall over there. Um, this is a private function for this group. Uh, so we have this whole meet and greet um, for the next little bit. Um, I think they're going to be handing out lanyards. We're going to get some introductions to kind of the founding fathers, uh, the ones that started this whole thing, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. So join us here, Spice H2O, for this private function. So we did the meet and greet, and now we are heading to our in-person muster station, sadly. So, I think we're going all the way down to seven, I believe, uh, into one of the dining rooms. I think it's the Manhattan. That's where mine is anyways. I'm F, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I request that you please stand up and move to the areas corresponding. So this is F1 is over here, F2 on the far side, F3 in the middle, F4 over there, F5 on the far side, F6 in the middle, F7 is all the way over there, F8 is over there, and F9 is sort of at the back. Now if you've sat down, 
guests who are in their staterooms should now proceed to their master station. Guests who are away from their stateroom should proceed directly to their master station without returning to an emergency situation. Please may stop working. We just finished the in-person muster drill. All of the muster stations were on six and seven, and, and so there were, everyone's just trying to get to. Everyone's just trying to get to an elevator, and this is this is why in-person mustering is literally the bane of, of our existence. It is the stupidest thing. So I just came over here. Uh, at the edge of the casino to take a break and talk about how stupid in-person mustering is. Uh, as you see behind me, this is one of the elevator banks. Uh, and, and they just tell everyone, hey, we're going to go ahead and do this in-person. Everyone, all the muster stations were on 6 and 7. So you have 3,000 people trying to get on 12 elevators? What? Why would you do that? That's Very carefully. Exactly. It just makes no sense. It's just, it's so silly. The only reason that they're doing in-person mustering again is uh, because it saves on crew time. That's it. It has nothing to do with safety. It doesn't keep us safer, okay? It's, it's literally just to save crew time. So you don't have crew caught up for hours on an e-muster. The e-muster was way better. It was way safer, okay? Hey, it's PMB. All right, we are looking at an interior room, 12667 on the Norwegian breakaway. This is an aft interior. dinner by myself and these ladies next to me are looking at me like he's talking to a camera what a moron that's okay we're all good so we made it here to the main dining room one of three main dining rooms that they have on the ship uh, so there's saver taste and the manhattan room um, i believe we're in saver i don't know they're both right across from each other so saver and taste are, are together um I don't, I don't know if this is a static menu or not, because it does say today's featured entrees, so I'm assuming that it, that does change. So my math may have been wrong on that one. Um, but we're definitely interested in checking out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a quick video here of the menu, uh, so you can kind of pause that and take a gander if you so choose. Um, but some pretty good stuff on the menu for tonight. All right, if I can start with the uh, crispy crab and cream cheese wontons. And then I'm going to do a Caesar salad. Yeah. And then I want to do the beef sirloin medallions. Yes, sir. How like to cook, sir? Medium. Any allergies? No. Well, 
It has been an amazing day here on the Norwegian Breakaway. But I am tired and I need to unload all the cameras and plug them all in and make sure we are ready to go in the morning. So I am going to sign off here for the evening, but I hope you enjoyed this embarkation day for the Norwegian Breakaway for the Vlogger Extravaganza. We met a ton of people. We had a blast hanging out with PMB's Wide World of Ports. Uh, Patrick and Becca, thank you for adopting me for this week. Um, they seem like really, really great people. Um, we've had tons of conversations with um, a, a ton of other YouTubers. Um, Brian and Julie from How We Cruise, you guys have been awesome and very friendly. Um, we met Andrew and Andrea um, from Ark Adventures, um, I believe. I need to check their channel out. Um, we were just talking shop for the last like hour, so super fun. I love, if you ever see me and you just want to talk like camera gear, like it doesn't even have to relate to like YouTube in general, just camera gear in general, I, I will probably, I will be there ready to, uh, to hang out with you. Okay, Ark Adventures, yep. Cool. Um, they just finished their series on the Carnival Celebration, which we will be on in a month. So I'm definitely interested in checking that out. Um, we saw a ton of other channels. Um, we met a bunch of people. We had our whole uh, get together with the whole crew. Um, super fun times. So tomorrow we do have a Q&A session with uh, the vloggers. Um, it's at 8 o'clock in the morning, so we need to be up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. It is currently 11 o'clock, and uh, I still have a ton of work to do. Haven't unpacked anything. You know the when you're trying to when you're first grilling on your first Weber charcoal grill, and you're trying to flip the frozen burgers that you bought from Walmart, and you don't quite get far enough under the burger. So when you try and flip it, it gets stuck on the grill and falls down into the charcoal, and then you're just like, uh, I don't know what to do with that. So you just kind of like pull it out and put it to the side. That's, that's how I feel. So, there's a, a picture for you, if you will. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like following along with our adventures, whether it's cruising, camping, or somewhere in between, uh, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. It really does help us out. Um, and leave a comment down below. Have you guys ever uh, cruised Norwegian? Um, so far, we're couple hours in and, and we really do enjoy it um this water by the way i bought this water their flow water it's alkaline spring water i feel so alkaline um my chakras are sorry if that offends someone but uh it's really good i have been talking a lot to a lot of people today so i came here and downed one of these one liter bottles immediately while watching the playoff games i need to find out who won the playoff games anyways I ramble and I talk and I talk and I ramble. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a friend. And we will see you on a sea day tomorrow with lots of new friends. Good night.